Are you listening? Damn. Uh. What is going on, guys? Welcome back today. What I'm going to be doing is cleaning my stock tanks because I feel like they have a lot of junk or gunk in the bottom because I haven't been uh, cleaning them. So I'm going to gravel vac vacuum that, which I'll show you the tool that I'm going to be using to do that. I haven't done it for six months, so I think it's time to do it. I'm also going to be cleaning the 45 gallon stock tank because I also haven't been cleaning it from the bottom. And then I'm a, the hornworth, it's starting to look all kind of like spider webs and I'll show you how it looks. And I'm just gonna put it on the five gallon bucket, kind of shake it off and put it back in. <clears throat> I'm also going to show you Probably some pictures that I went to take. I went to Brussels Bend State Park and I took a few photos. I'm just gonna share with y'all. Just like I shared on the other clip of me playing some video games. It's just something I'm trying out. Like the intro you just saw. I mean, if y'all don't like it, just let me know. In the comments below so I can try and improve it. I'm just trying new things right here. So with that being said, let's start cleaning the stock tank and I'm also going to be taking that uh, bench or I'll show you what I mean. So what I'll be using to clean the bottom to do the gravel back is this. I don't really, I don't remember the name of it right now but I'll put it like right down below somewhere around here. And what I said I'm going to be moving it's this platform right here, the white one where I used to use it so the turtle can bask taking it away because every time I see it basking it starts basking on this rocks right here so there's no use for me to have this right here and if you can see this it's been hot lately uh, especially a couple of weeks ago where it was above 100 degrees so it burned this plant right here so I'm gonna be removing this and then cleaning the bottom giving it a little clean so let's start My camera actually died, so now that I'm done with this, taking all of this out, now what I'm going to do is show you how dirty it is on the inside. And this, let me turn off this air pump because it's really noisy. And I'm actually surprised because it has been raining bad for like a week or a little bit over a week. And this air pump, this air pump has survived all this water and it's not meant to be outside, so... I'm pretty surprised with it. it has worked really well now as I was saying uh, let me start cleaning the bottom and I'll show you how dirty it actually is or I don't know if you'll be able to tell because as you can see once I took out all that all this rocks and everything I stirred it up and it has it looks really dirty right now so I'll try and show you but let me start cleaning it up First of all, I'm going to take out the sponge filters. Okay, now that I took the sponge filters out, I'm going to actually take the driftwood out, that way it's not on my way. You can see it has a lot of eggs. I'm not sure from which fish or snail these eggs are. I'll show you real quick. All those snails, all those dots are eggs. I also added this uh, wave maker, that way it can uh, make more water movement so it won't be stagnant and the water won't smell. All right, so let me try and show you how dirty the water is, or how messy the water is in the bottom. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know how it's looking. I'm just putting the action camera in the bottom, trying to go around so you can see. And like I said, it's really dirt. 
cloudy, so I don't know how well y'all can see. Now that that's done, now I'm gonna use this. Pull it down, lift it up, let the water drain out, and then put it back in. And now we start cleaning the bottom. That's everything I took out from the bottom. All that gunk. And then I actually saw a little dragonfly mint, which it's not here no more. <clears throat> so what that means with the dragonfly mint or larva, whatever. Uh, dragonflies actually laid eggs here, so <clears throat> some of these fishes might be get, get eaten by them. I mean, but <clears throat> I can't remove them all, so that's that's just how it how it is. And I'm not so worried about making water change because, like I said, it's been raining all this week, so it has been overflowing a lot, so that works like a water change. So I was just worried about taking all this gunk from the bottom out. Now also every time I'm doing it I try and check the uh, the end of the tube that way I can see if uh, there's a fish that came out so I can get it back and put it back in the stock tank and then what I'm going to do with this <clears throat> sponge filters to clean them is just squish them and that's it all that dirty water is going to come out and that's that's it the rest I'll just leave it like that because it's beneficial bacteria and then tomorrow I'll be making another I'll be showing you another underwater footage of how it looks once it's more clear and settled. Like I said, all you have to do is this, squish it, and make all that nasty, dirty water come out. And that's it. All the rest, it's uh, you just gotta leave some beneficial bacteria right there so it keeps working good. Same thing with this one. Squish it out. I don't know if you can tell how brown the water is coming out. So for those plants right there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replant them right here. So I'm put them right back in the water. And I'm also going to be removing this because I don't really need them no more. Since I don't put the net on top of it no more, I don't, I don't need them. Alright. And now all I have to do is add more water. So let me bring the decorinator and the water hose so I can fill it back up. Alright, so we're going to add some dechlorinizer. Should be enough, more than enough. Now to fill it up. Now that it's filled, all I'm going to do is move with this one. And what I'm going to do is take all the hornwort, put it on this bucket, and then I'm going to take it back over there and rinse it with the water hose. That way I can throw away all of this stuff. Because if you can see, I don't know with the reflection, if you can see good, but. but it kind of looks like a spider web I'll take a little video that way you can see what I'm talking about what I'm gonna do is just grab it and give it a little rinse and then throw it back in here same thing with the rest a little rinse Throw it back in here, and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. And I'll get you back once I finish. As I'm doing that, here is a dragonfly larva, and it's kind of big. And it's a good thing that I'm doing this because if it has a lot of them, that means it's killing most of my fishes and my shrimps, and I don't want that. Like I said, that's one of the things when you have stock tanks out tight, that's one of the risks you gotta go by. So just keep that in mind. 
Now I'm gonna clean the bottom just like I did with the other one. I just have to be real careful with this one so I don't mess it up. And like I show you those little larva <clears throat> dragonfly larvas that I found, I found like six of those so that would explain why I don't have as many cherry shrimps or uh, guppies as I used to because they were they were pretty big and like I said they will actually kill your fish so if you're trying to breed them for profit you gotta keep up with your maintenance and look out for those guys or just try and have a stock tank in your garage or something I'm actually gonna keep one of those just think so I can try and make an experiment let me clean this real quick and then I'll get back to y'all now that I've finished, let me show you what I found, guys. Real quick. I'm not even lying. I found like 20 of these guys, and then let me try and zoom in. I don't know if you can see right here. I'm gonna put a circle on it. That's the biggest one I found, and I found like more of more than 20 of these guys. So what I'm gonna try, I'll probably do is set up a tank and put them there just to see uh, how they feed and like I said like you gotta be real careful with the, with this type of stuff I mean good thing I don't have expensive fish in here otherwise it would be a real bummer only that big guy he been eating pretty good in here and now that I'm done with that I'm gonna show you I'm gonna roll some a clip of some pictures I took over there at the park that I mentioned earlier I hope you guys enjoy let me know down in the comments if you like this or not Alright guys, hopefully I enjoy this. Any feedback is helpful. Thank you everybody who has watched, been watching my videos. Thank you everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. With that being said, I'll see you next time. Peace out guys. Stay safe.